Hey, good morning everybody. Uh, so for this class we're going to work on the painting. And I was mentioning to the students I have to record again the years because the internet was dropping too much in my live stream so I had to redo it after. And I forgot to mention that you can bake the years uh, before you bake the face or after. It's up to you. But if you do bake after, uh, make sure to make a cut here in the jawline area to be able to put the, to bring the ear inside and to poke the hole in there. And you can also bake the face, make one ear, bake one ear, and then bake the make the other so you don't smash the other ear. It's really up to you. And for the baking time, I use 275 Fahrenheit or 130 Celsius degrees, and I bake the face for 30 minutes, the ears for 10 minutes. Um, it doesn't matter if you make the two of them at the same time, you use 10 minutes for the two of them. If you bake, uh, if you make it separated, 10 minutes for this one, 10 minutes for that one. Okay, uh, now we are going to do the painting. And I'm explaining here, I'm going to use the Genesis. And if you guys want to use something else, you can. Um, because the Genesis is not cheap, but it's a very good investment because it doesn't uh, finish fast. It takes forever to finish, so it's a good investment. But if you don't want to use it, you can use the gel. So it's either PV clay gel or liquid Sculpey, liquid, uh, liquid clay from Sculpey. I don't know the, the other brands, really. Uh, but what you do here is you get your gel and you mix it with makeup. Um, so any makeup that you want, like if you want red, you can use sort of a, a every kind of lipstick or you can use foundations for making the skin colors. You just, all you have to do is mix with the liquid clay and do the different colors of foundation or you can use eyeshadows to make uh, other colors. So that's option one. Option two is you you get your purple polymer clay or I mean your colorful the color that you want to do it you get a little piece and then you get uh, some oil I'm gonna use here the clay softener from Scopey it doesn't need to be that one and any oil will do it so you can leave it like stay in here for a bit and then after it's here you start dissolving or you can just come if you really need to use like right away like I need to show you guys right away so you start like breaking it just come here and kind of smash it so a drop of oil and smash it so then you get painting there let me show you guys with the brush that I'm not intending to use here it's pretty much the same result see it's soft Genesis is also soft so you can paint in layers if you want more, if you want stronger, um, you kind of have to get more, less oil, more clay, and kind of, you can leave it there, like, set in there for one hour, 30 minutes, I don't know, as long as it takes for dissolve it better, and then it's going to do the work. So, that's it, that's option two. So, those are the different options for painting. No, don't need to do that. But I'm going to use Genesis and you guys feel free to use whatever you want. I don't uh, indicate you guys to use anything else than those three options I gave because you can like I already used uh, oil painting. It is good, it works, but what I heard from the PV clay uh, factor is that in the long term it's not guaranteed that the oil paint is not going to crack it or it, it will stay the same or is not going to fade it. So they recommended us just to use for polymer clay, just to use polymer clay specific stuff. So let's start painting now. And for painting the face, I rather use in the pictures straight from my computer because when we print the picture, it doesn't really get the right colors like for example this printing turn out a little bit greenish some pictures go like pinkish I don't know I just rather using the pictures from the computer so if you go on our group you go photos and then there's an album just for Emmy's references and then you can choose a picture from there so what I'm gonna start 
explaining is about uh, realistic colors for the face. It is not easy to reach the realistic colors. So when you look to a picture, you have to really try to see colors that are not just the average colors. We can just use average colors, but try to find everything that is greenish, purplish, bluish on the face because you will find those colors. Okay, if you feel like you need to add more colors that you can't see it, that I didn't, go ahead and do it. Sometimes I go crazy and I add a lot of purple, like when you're painting newborns. Set yourself free. Don't try to, to do what I'm doing. Do better than me. You can do better. So I drop some oil here, some clay softener. I like working with this makeup sponge. It doesn't need to have this circle here. There's one that was just the triangles. So I'm gonna get that paint that I just dissolved with the oil and I'm going to start kind of making like a foundation for makeup, makeup foundation for her. Be careful to don't reach the eyes because then the eyes turns out beige instead of white. And we don't want that. Uh, once you do that, you can either go with the sponge and kind of just like when you put in your own face. I also like to spread with another brush. So I go with this one that has the painting, so dip on the paint, paint the face, another dried brush and then just instead of the sponge you just spread out with the brush. But the, the brush is more controllable, but the sponge it is easier for beginners to use the sponges better. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna do that all over her face. You can also add in the ears. So this is already going to get rid of all the moonies. Um, maybe it will still show a little bit, but we're still gonna add a lot of layers of painting here and it will disappear. So I'm gonna start working with the shades now. I have the foundation. I didn't bake the foundation. I'm not gonna bake it. Okay, so I'm gonna use here one of the darkest uh, skin color of Genesis, but you can also use some brown and mix with the skin color that you use. So all I need here is like a darker color for the shades. Uh, you can either be brownish or if you're rather you can mix some green in here or blue. It's as I said Go crazy, don't stop yourself. So for the, the darker shades, what do we want here? You can always, I'm using the, again, the same oil that I use with the skin, I'm just adding this. And if I think it's too light, I can add more brown here to make it darker. I like to make like soft paintings, but if you like a little bit more, you can do it a little bit more. It's it's really up to you. And you can do that over and over again. If you don't like it, you can remove it and redo it. Don't bake it until you like it. Uh, so for the dark ones, everything in the face that is dip, it's darker. Everything that is... Um, I don't know how to say that word in English. Everything that is not dip, that is out, is lighter. So if you want to make something to look deeper, you make it darker. If you want something to look... Um, out, I don't know, like outside, I don't know the word in English, you make it lighter, okay? And here I will start making that part over the eye, not the eyelid, just the center here, darker. Right there. So I go like this, and around the nose as well, all the way here. 
once I reach here, I'm going to look for her picture and try to copy the shape of the tip of her nose here and then behind her wings like this. Do you need to do that? No, only if you can see what I'm seeing. Um, if you see something different, do different. And then with the brush, that's why I said the brush is more controllable. You can go with the sponge, but for those small areas, I rather spread it with the brush so we can control it better. You just start spreading around. Okay, so you see, after I kind of spread out, it gets really soft, but you can still see it. So if you feel like darker than that, you can add some more brown. That's, I'm using the burnt umber now to mix here. And always, I like always to mix with the, the skin color. So don't be so dark, but this is just me, you don't need to do the same as me. And in some areas you can even go with only the burnt amber. So around her nose, there inside her nose I can only go with the burnt amber. It will already mix with the skin color because of the foundation that I put it before. Right there. And if you see something else that you want to kind of like Oh, this is too large. I'm going to make it thinner. So just go with the shading and kind of shape it better. And then always, always, always come with the, another brush. Dried, clean, and spread out. If you don't spread out, it's going to be, it's not going to be realistic and natural. Everywhere there is dip. And then if you think it's too much, you just go with another clean brush and spread it even more. In the camera right now, in the one camera I can see it looks uh, that I have more, that I have darker than it's really it really is in here. But that's good for you guys to see where I'm adding clay oh, and where I'm adding paint. And now under the eyes, I'm not going to do inside the eyes now, I'm just going to go like under the eyes here to make that part more visible. And inside the, the line between the eye and the concave and convex here, I'm going to make it dark. I kind of put a lot of paint in there and then I kind of clean up where I don't want the paint to be. So I, sp I put the clean brush, clean up, and then inside the line it will still stay. Kind of clean up around this way. Kind of give depth to her look. this and now I'm going to spread this brown under the eyes as well. This is burn number. I'm going to clean up the burn number out of my brush and get again the darker skin color here because I want softer. I'm just going to do the tempera. Let me spread with the sponge so you guys can see there is also this option. So there you go. Just spread and kind of see. This is not the blush, it's still just the shading. Then you spread out, either with the brush or with the sponge, whatever you feel more comfortable with. I got used to use the brush, so I'm going to be using the brush here. But really, you, you can use it wherever you want. Look, that is too much right now because you just have the shades, but once you start putting the rest of the makeup, it doesn't look too much anymore. You can add, even if it's, she doesn't have a contour on her makeup, you can still add some. So now I want a little bit 
darker and skinny so I'm going to get this brown burnt umber I'm not using the oil you can see I'm using just the clay just the, the genesis I don't want very oily because I want to be able to control it better if it's too oily you kind of it's just like paint right you kind of lose control over the details so just getting it a little bit darker here I don't want too much it's gonna go to go the contour of the lips I'm gonna try to contour her lips In between her lips I'm gonna use the pure burnt umber because I want it to be dark. I'll just rub my finger and go back with the lighter one. I'm going to kind of like go with the brush like that now just to put the shade in the texture okay now I'm gonna do the shade um, this this shade here now so with the dissolved darker skin color also uh, between the lips I always put a little bit of dark spot here okay so I painted one side and the other I didn't so you guys can see the difference back after so I always go I always for the the eyebrow I never go like this I, do, I don't do this I always go like this gently and softly and I start uh, the center hair goes up and then I start like laying them down like this and then when it's rich here it's absolutely laying down and when I get to the edge and then I change the direction for going down like this so this is how I paint an eyebrow so I'm gonna do that in here, look into her pictures. You can always still get the transparency for that to make sure it's in the right spot. And then you can make brown now and then you add the black after. It's also going to give a little bit of shade underneath. It's going to look more natural if you do that. And then for the eyebrow, I also like to get my tool and scratch a little bit of a hair on it, just so it looks more natural. I always go like from the top to the bottom and then from the bottom to the top and kind of clean up a bit. Um, something else you can do with the eyebrow is Hi guys, so I baked the brown 8 minutes 275 degrees uh, I'm going to work with the reds on her face now and for the reds I'm gonna use pyroly red so you can use any kind of red I rather pyroly because it's kind of darker the this red is this is just red and it's kind of very like fire so I like the pyroly but, but you can use whatever you rather and also you can use the polymer clay as I said 
so I'm going to start doing the same thing. I'm going to get the paint, and especially this red, we really need to dissolve with the oil, because if you don't, it's going to be really, really strong. So I get a little bit of red and a lot of oil. So here's some blush. I just go spread around. <clears throat> then I get either the sponge or the bigger brush. And I like to do the, the brush in this phase because the sponge will remove a lot of the red. And the, the brush doesn't remove that much, kind of keep it better. And I'm just looking to her pictures and seeing where she has her face more red. So, kind of like go around the eye and over the, the smile line here, down here. So, something like that. Forgot to turn on this camera. So I did the same in this side. And now I'm putting a triangle shape in the forehead. Kind of like a triangle here, letting this area lighter because this area is tall, it's like higher than this one. So I always like to leave this triangle shape and then then you can like this one I made with the brush, this one I'm going to show with the sponge, so... Go gentle with the sponge, otherwise it's going to remove all the red. This. And then here, where it's like... You can spread it better to don't leave a line. And just spread. There we go. This give a very realistic look in the sculpture. I'm going to add some to the chin. Also some around here. Some on the ears. And then just gently spread with the brush, with the sponge, or brush, or whatever you you rather. There we go. I like it already, but I have it here. I'm going to get a little bit stronger here for the lipstick and I'm gonna add a little bit of the brown that I use for the skin and put in here a little bit of the brown and add here so it's not just red and I'm gonna start putting on the lipstick I always go like this I like it better when it doesn't get just a, a line here Could be more red. I'm gonna get a little bit of red and put in here, just pure. And then a little bit of oil. My brush is already dirty. And try to just in some areas go with the red. already looks uh, more like her and more realistic when you add some of the red. I'm going to add some of this brownish red here also, a little bit over here, because I can see in her image that in the one that I'm looking at she has kind of a maybe eyeshadow, I don't know what it is, but it's kind of reddish here. So 
so just just adding a bit and then with the brush so it's good because it doesn't uh, damage the eyebrow I'm gonna bake it and I'll be back with the bake it face so we can go for the next step okay so I just baked that so you can see it's baked so now I can go for the the next step and not be worried about uh, messing up what I already did. So I'm going to start doing the lightening, like the light areas. I ar it's already lighter because I did not put any color on it, so you can see it's already light, but we can always add some more. Uh, you can add like kind of like a yellowish or a bluish color. I'm just gonna work on a lighter skin color. As I said, don't stop yourself wet where I am. You can always go for different colors. Go for what you're seeing in the pictures and copy as much as you can. I'm going to light up a little bit here, just a little. And with my bigger brush, I will spread. And she has a lot of light here because, as I said, she has this part like very high here and spread out I'm gonna give a little bit of uh, light here and also here in the corner of her eyes And then after doing the lightning, you can also bake if you feel like you need to. Or you can just continue going. So I add, I don't know if I was in camera, I add some uh, light here under her eyes, in the corner of her eyes here, on the top of her forehead, a little bit on the nose. And now I'm adding here and here. And just spreading. So it's really whatever you can see that is lighter, you just add. You can also do it with the lipstick. You can add some lightning to the, the mouth. I probably will put more red in here. Um, so you search for the areas that you want to make it lighter. And you can bake it and then go for the next step, or you can just go straight for the next step. Uh, I'm gonna go straight because the next step doesn't really affect what I just did. So I'm going to add some red to the corner of her eyes here inside, just a little bit, because she's looking there, so it kind of shows more uh, this part of the eye. And it's a soft red. It cannot be too red because if it's too red it's gonna look like she has an eye infection or something. And here pretty much just inside, not even there. And maybe some here, the opposite side that she's looking. It's like just a little bit. Um, I'm going to go with my black now. I think for painting the skin, I'm good with that. Maybe I will add some more red on the lipstick. And I'm gonna get the black and also add a little bit of oil so it's not so strong. So I'm going to start with uh, going inside the eye. So I turn my doll like that and I'm gonna paint inside the eye in here. Uh, I have to try to go as closer as I can to the eye but avoid blurring the eye inside. If you need to blurry something because you can't do it, blurry, uh, make, make, it um, make a mistake outside. So pay more attention in not uh, messing up the eye than outside because outside you can clean with a, with a toothpick, but inside it's pretty hard to clean if you mess up. So it's almost touching the eyeball, but not really touching. Don't leave a big space between because you can't see it if you leave a big space. 
So see, it's really just inside. When you turn like this, you can barely see it. There. And now that I did it, the inside, I'm going to go for the outside according to her makeup, which is pretty big makeup. And you can always um, look in the transparency. Goes here. You can start smaller and then if you think it needs to make it thicker. I always like to go slow so I can control better. She doesn't really go all the way to the corner of the eye, just inside. And you can go thicker here. Let me get a toothpick. I think I went too far away from her eyes. I'm just going to clean up here. So we pretty much just rub the... You can rub the toothpick on oil. And then you come here and clean up. Be careful because if you go too much in the black, it can make a big, big mess here. So go slow and go from the outside to the inside so you don't bring the black everywhere out. Just because it's black, the other colors are easier to fix if you mess up. So I think it's more like this. And then I'm going to go, the bottom part, I'm not going to go all the way inside. I'm going to go close and just draw a line here. Kind of like where the eyelashes would be. And then I have to see um, where she, until where on her eyes she goes with the black line. So if she goes all the way, some people go all the way inside here. She doesn't go all the way in, she kind of just stops here. Then after I do that line then I can make it thicker on the inside on this area. I think maybe here she doesn't go that much. Yeah, it's more like this. Yeah, I think it looks a lot like her. So I'm going to also put some black on the eyebrow so it kind of looks more like her. And I still, same thing, I'm not going to paint, I'm going to still make it uh, in the hair direction you can always confirm like with the transparency if everything is in the right spot yeah I really really like it okay I like that so I'm gonna do the same in the other side
So I'm just gonna put some more red here on her lipstick. It looks like uh, she barely had lipstick on, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of more red. But it's really, you guys can choose the lipstick that you want for her. I'm not gonna go all the way, so I kind of go around, keep on doing this movement with my brush, like copying the the, the direction of the texture. I'm just going some spots, so the lipstick also gets shady and according to the rest of the painting. Otherwise, you you have all the painting realistic, and then boom, and just some lipstick on it and. It doesn't really look very good. Also, when you add the, the lip co lips color, either with or without lipstick, you can always um, pay attention to the shape of the lip and fix whatever is wrong. Try to get it even more similar with hers. I think I like it now. Yeah. So that's it. I'm going to stop here. I'm going to bake it and our face is ready, painted. And next class we can start with the body. See you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.